Hello. Hello, everyone. We will wait a minute to see if we have some more friends join. Hi, Miss Jenna. Yes, happy Friday. We are so excited that you are here for another one of our storybook series. I think some more friends are logging on. I have a very special book that we are going to be reading today. It's one of my favorites. We are going to read Pete the Cat's Trip to the Supermarket. Have you ever read a Pete the Cat story? I love Pete the Cat. There are so many good books, and I think Pete is just silly. I'm excited too. <clears throat> so they are going to the supermarket. A supermarket is kind of like a grocery store. So maybe you've been to Kroger or Meyer or maybe you've gotten your groceries at Walmart. Those are all grocery stores, kind of like a supermarket. So that is where Pete the Cat is going today. All right. So this is the front of our book. This is the back of our book. And this is the side or the spine of the book. And the spine of the book keeps all of our pages nice and straight and together, kind of like what our spine in our body does. It keeps us straight. And this spine is really little. All right, let's look at our title of the book. Pete the Cat's Trip to the Supermarket. Whoa, there are a lot of words in this title. Should we count them? All right, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven words in our title. Whoa, that's a lot of words. All right, our author. Do you remember what the author is? What does the author do? The author writes the words in our story. So the author is Kimberly and James Dean. So they both wrote all of our words. All right. Are we ready to read? Okay, as we read, we're going to be thinking about Syllables. Hmm. Have you ever learned about syllables before? Hmm. Syllables are one unit of sound. So some words have one syllable, some words have two, some words have many syllables. So as we read, we're going to point out some words and figure out how many syllables they have. So I'm going to need your help, okay? All right. Pete and Bob are hungry. Mm. After a big day of fun at the park. Mm. Look at the park. Ooh, what do you see? I see some fun things at the park. What are these right here? These are swings. And what is this? That is a slide. Wee! Oh, I bet they had so much fun at the park. Dad, can we have a snack? Bob asks. Mmm, I wonder what kind of snack they're going to have. <clears throat> 
Dad checks the fridge. Dad checks the pantry. Dad checks the secret snack nook. Ah, he checks the fridge, the pantry, and the little nook. Do you see any food in there? I don't either. It looks empty. It looks empty. That's our sign for empty. Hmm, nothing in there. We need to buy groceries, said Dad. Dad starts to make a list. We need milk and eggs and fish and chicken. Ooh, look, he's writing out his list. Do you see the words? Milk, eggs, fish. And he's starting to write chicken. Ooh, let's see. How many syllables are in the word chicken? We're gonna clap it up. Ready? Chicken. Mmm. Chicken. How many syllables? Two. You're right. How many syllables in the word fish? Let's clap it out. You ready? Fish. How many syllables? Fish. You're right, one syllable. Good job. <clears throat> I want raspberries, says Bob. I want apples, says Pete. Ooh, what do Bob and Pete Want from the store. Do you remember? Hmm. They want raspberries and they want apples. You're right. Raspberries and apples. Yum, I love apples. Pete, Bob, and Dad make a long list and take it to the supermarket. Ooh, look at the big sign. They are at Meow Food Supermarket. So if you go to Kroger or Meyer or Costco, you'll see a sign just like this. Oh no! What happened? Oh no, what happened to their list? The wind blows the list out of Dad's hands. Oh no! What are they going to do without their list? Oh. It's cool, says Pete. I remember the list. I do too, says Bob. Hmm, do you think they're gonna remember everything on the list? That's a lot to remember. First, they stop in aisle. What number is that? Aisle 10. This is the dairy aisle. The dairy aisle has things that are made from milk or contain milk. They have milk in them. First, they stop in aisle 10. The sign says dairy. We need milk, says Pete. Oh, he got the milk. And cheese, says Bob. Look at the cheese. The stinky kind. Oof. Have you ever had stinky cheese? 
Me too. Ooh, they have milk, cheese. Looks like maybe they have yogurt. Maybe they have cottage cheese. Those are all things that you would find in the dairy aisle. So maybe next time you go to the grocery store, you could try to find the dairy aisle. Should we see how many syllables are in the word dairy? Ready? Dairy. Mm, let's say it again. Dairy. How many syllables did you hear? How many times did we clap? Dairy. Dairy. How many syllables? Two, you're right. All right. <clears throat> Next, they go to aisle nine. Yum, says dad. I love bacon. I love bacon too. Do you like bacon? Mm, me too. Don't forget the chicken, says Pete. They are in the meat aisle. They almost pass aisle eight when Pete remembers eggs. They had eggs on their list. Look at all the different kinds of eggs you can get. Regular or jumbo, asks Pete. Jumbo, says Dad. Groovy, says Pete. Look, there's the jumbo eggs. Jumbo means big. Look how big these eggs are. They are much bigger than these eggs. They're jumbo. How many syllables are in the word jumbo? Let's clap it out. Jumbo. Clap with me. Jumbo. Jumbo. How many syllables? You're right, two, two syllables. Yes, Leslie, these eggs are jumbo. They're so big. They're almost as big as Pete. Whoa. Bob can't pick between spaghetti and macaroni in aisle. Do you know what number this is? Aisle. Seven. They're in aisle seven. They're in the pasta aisle. Pasta. How about bow ties? Asks Dad. Awesome, says Bob. Bob is so silly. Look. He is wearing bow tie pasta like it's a real bow tie. Oh, Bob, that is so silly. Look at what Pete's doing with his spaghetti. It looks like he's wearing it like a scarf. These cats are so silly. I'll... What number aisle are they in? Aisle six. They're in aisle six. Ooh, what do we see? Look at all the different colors. What kind of aisle are they in? Hmm, aisle six 
smells fruity. Mmm. Yummy. Remember the apples, says Pete. Remember the raspberries, says Bob. What other fruit do we see? Pete found the apples. What else do you see? This does look like a Trader Joe's. I agree. Oranges, I see oranges. Yum, I love oranges. What do these look like? Do you know? They're about the same size as apples. They taste different. They start with a p, p, p. Do you know what it is? These are pears. Pears. These are the raspberries that Bob wanted. Ooh, what are these? These smell so good. These are lemons. Lemons. Ooh, there are avocados and cherries too. All kinds of fruit. Yum. All right, how many syllables? Hmm, are in lemon. Ready? Let's clap. Lemon. Did you hear? Lemon. How many times did we clap? How many syllables? Lemon. You're right. Two syllables. What about avocado? Hmm. This one's a little bit harder. Are you ready? Avocado. Whoa. How many times did we clap? Avocado. That's a lot of claps. Avocado. Whoa. That word has four syllables. Whoo. That's a lot of syllables. All right, what about pear? Pear, oh, how many syllables? Pear, that one has one syllable. Nice job. All right. In oh, five, dad tastes a hot dog. Mmm, yummy. In aisle four, Pete tastes a cupcake. Sweet. Sometimes when you go to the grocery store, they have samples and you can try things. A lot of times if you go to Costco or maybe Sam's Club, they usually have samples out. Sometimes if you go to Kroger, sometimes they have samples out too. And that way you can try something before you buy it. So you can see if you like it. So dad had a hot dog. Mmm. Pete had a cupcake. Ooh. Look at all the cupcakes. They're so colorful. He got one with yellow icing. Mmm. I think I would pick the one with blue icing. Which one would you pick? Did you pick one? There are 
are so many good choices. Okay. Dad lets Pete and Bob choose a treat in aisle three. Ooh, they get to pick a treat. That's so nice of Dad to let them pick a treat. Pete picks crackers shaped like fish. Ooh, I bet those taste like goldfish. Do you like to eat goldfish? I do. Bob picks. Oh, what is that? Pop, 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 pop. Popcorn. I love popcorn, especially if we're having a movie night. I love popcorn. Mmm, yummy. Brr, it's cold in aisle two. Ooh, look, aisle two. I think they're in the frozen section. Ooh, I see ice cream. Yum. Dad puts mango popsicles in the cart. Ooh, mango popsicles. Yum. Those look like some yummy treats. Now what aisle are they in? What number is that? They are in aisle one. You're right, aisle one. What do you think they have in aisle one? What do they have there? They have flowers. You're totally right. Oh, aisle one has sunflowers tulips, and blue daisies. Those are some really pretty flowers. Pete and Bob pick tulips for Grandma. Oh, that's sweet. She'll love them, says Dad. That was very thoughtful of them. I think we got everything except the fish. Oh no, they forgot the fish. Oh, that's okay. Their car is packed with yummy treats anyway. Next time. Ooh, look at all of the goodies that they got. The end. That was a fun trip to the supermarket. I love going to the supermarket. So, what kinds of foods did they buy? Do you remember? What kind of food did they buy? They bought, oh, let's look. They bought milk. They bought eggs. What do you see? Do you remember? What did they buy? Looks like they bought watermelon, apples, oranges. Yum. What did they forget to buy? Do you remember? What did they forget? They forgot the fish. That's okay, they'll get it next time. All right, we're gonna do some more work with our syllables. So we're gonna look at some food that maybe you see when you go to the grocery store. What about this? What are these? They're yellow and they come in a bundle. These are bananas. Let's see how many syllables are in the word banana. Ready? 
banana. Banana. How many syllables? Three. You're right. Three syllables in banana. All right. Ooh, what about these? What are these? These are carrots. Carrots. How many syllables, I wonder, are in carrot? Let's clap it out. Carrot. How many times did we clap? Carrot. Carrot. How many syllables? Two. You're right. Two syllables in carrot. What about? Ooh. Do you know what this is? This is a can of soup. How many syllables are in the word soup? Soup. How many syllables? Soup. You're right, one syllable. Awesome job. You guys are so good at this. All right. Ooh, let's do a hard one. Do you know what this is? This is a cucumber. How many syllables in cucumber? All right. Ready to clap? Cucumber. Did you hear it? Cucumber. How many? Cucumber. Three syllables. You're right. All right. Let's do two more. Okay. Ooh, do you know what these are? These are blueberries. All right, let's see how many syllables are in blueberries. Ready? Get your hands ready. Blueberry. Ooh, I love blueberries too. Oh, yum, blueberry pancakes are the best. Blueberry, blueberry. Three syllables, you're right. All right, last one. All right, ooh, this might be something that mom and dad buy. Maybe Grandma and Grandpa buy. A lot of adults like to have this in the morning so that they can wake up. Do you know what this? Coffee. Coffee. All right. How many syllables? Coffee. 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 Two syllables, you're right. All right, friends, nice job today. I had so much fun reading our story for today and doing our activity. You did such a good job with the syllables. We thank you so much for tuning in and for watching. And I want to remind you that this storybook time is taking place every single weekday during this summer of 2020 at 10.30 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. 
so you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, UC Speech and Hearing Clinic 2020 Summer Storybook Series, so that you can automatically get notifications when we go live or when a new recording is available. You can also visit our Facebook page or follow us on Twitter, both of which are linked at the bottom right-hand corner of the picture of our preschool clinic room on our channel page. Thank you so much for tuning in and for watching. We will see you all again at 1230 today for our last reading of this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye, friends.